In this lecture, let's understand what is a cursor in MongoDB. And in order to understand cursor, first we need to understand how the find method works. If you remember, we use find method to fetch documents from a collection. So let's switch to MongoDB shell and let's understand how find method works and what is a cursor. Currently, I'm in the sample DB database. In this database, let's first check what are the collections available. So for that, I can use this command show collections. So in this sample DB database, we have one customer collection. Now let's go ahead and let's see what are the documents inside this customer collection. So if you remember in the last lecture, we deleted all the documents from this customer collection. So if I go ahead and if I use the find method on this customer collection, it should return us nothing. And that's what you will see here. So the first thing which I'm going to do here is in this customer collection, I'm going to add some documents for that. I'm going to use this insert many method. And in order to save some time, I have already created an array and inside that array, I have created some documents. And for each document, I have specified this underscore ID field, this name field and this gender field. So here I'm specifying this underscore ID field explicitly. And to this underscore ID field, I'm assigning an integer value. So it starts from one and the last document here has this underscore ID field as 23. So inside this array, we have total 23 documents. Now let me copy this array and let's go back to our MongoDB shell and let me pass this array to this insert mini method. Let's close that method and let's press enter. And you will notice that these many documents have been inserted in the customer collection with these IDs. Now let me clear the console. And now let me go ahead and let me call this find method on this customer collection. Now we have learned that the find method is used to search for documents in a collection. So the find method will return us all the documents based on a given filter. If the filter is not specified, it will return us all the documents from the collection. But keep in mind that find method does not return a list. It returns a pointer to a list of document, which is also called as cursor. So now if I go ahead and if I use this find method on this customer collection, it is not going to return us a list of customer documents. It is going to return us an object and that object is called as cursor. So if I press enter here, you will notice that this find method has returned us 20 documents. But in the customer collection, we inserted 23 documents. So why is this find method returning us only 20 documents? That's because here the find method is not returning us all the documents. It is not returning us a list of documents. It is returning us a cursor and a cursor is a pointer to a list of document. Currently the cursor which we have received, it is pointing to this 20 documents. Now here we also have this message type it for more. So basically when we type this it command, again MongoDB is going to return us a cursor with next set of documents. If I press enter, you will notice that now we are receiving these three documents, the rest three documents which we had inside this customer collection. So this is what a cursor is. MongoDB returns us a cursor. A cursor is a pointer to a list of documents. MongoDB does not returns us all the document at once when we use find method on a collection. It returns us documents in batches and that batch is called as cursor. Okay, and keep in mind that a cursor is nothing but an object and we will learn about cursor in great detail in the future lecture of this course. But for now, all you need to know is a cursor is simply a pointer to a list of documents. Find method does not returns us all the documents in one go. It returns us documents in batches and that batch is called as cursor. Now, when we are working in shell, we can use this IT command to request for more documents. But what if we are working with a programming language like Node.js or PHP? There we can't use this IT command, right? So in order to work with cursor, the language driver provides certain cursor methods which we can use in that particular language. For example, one of the cursor method is this toArray method. So for example, if I say db.customer.find and on this find, if I go ahead and if I use toArray method, this toArray is a cursor method. So here what will happen is the find method will return us a cursor. So basically it will return us a batch of documents. Let's say it is going to return us 20 documents for the first cursor. Once we have that first batch, this toArray method will automatically request for next batch of documents. 
So in this way, when we are using this to array method on this find method, it is going to return us all the documents in one go. As you can see here, we have received all the 23 documents. But it looks like we have received all the documents in one go. Internally, find method first returned one cursor. And once we received that cursor, this to array method automatically requested for another cursor, another batch of documents. Okay, so it looks like that we have received all the documents in one go, but internally we are still receiving cursor and this to array method is automatically requesting for next cursor. Now in the language drivers, this method name will be same. So it will be to array, but the syntax might be different. So for example, in the Node.js, when you use this to array method, it will be written like this in the camel case. But in PHP, it might be something like to underscore array. Okay. So here the name is same, only the syntax might differ based on which programming language you are using. But the working remains the same. All right. Another cursor method which we can use is the for each method. So again on this find method, I can call for each method. So this is also a cursor method. And to this for each, we can pass a callback function. Okay, here you can also use the arrow function syntax. And inside this, we can write some logic to transform the elements which we are receiving for each iteration. Basically, again, this find method is going to return a cursor. This for each method will loop over each document in that cursor. And once it reaches the last document, that means this 20th document, it will request for next batch of documents. So again, this for each is another cursor method, which internally requests for another batch of documents when it has looped over all the documents in that particular batch in that particular cursor here let's simply say i want to print the customer name so for that i can use this print method inside that use some string let's say customer name and then let's print the customer name here for each iteration this function is going to receive the current document let's call it cus okay so for customer and this cust is going to receive the customer object. So here, let's say cust.name. Let's go ahead and let's press enter. And you can see customer name John Smith, customer name Steve Voss. So in this way, it has logged all the customer names. So this for each is another cursor method which you can use and you can execute some logic for each iteration. And there are also other cursor methods as well. And we will talk about it in great detail in the future lectures of this course. In this lecture, I simply wanted to give you a basic understanding of what a cursor is in MongoDB. Now, the reason why we are able to use Pretty method on find method and not on any other method, that's because of the fact that Pretty method can only be called on a cursor. Okay, so we know that this find method is going to return us a cursor. And on that cursor, we can call Pretty method and this is possible because pretty method can only be called on a cursor if I try to use this pretty method on find one which does not return a cursor in that case it will give us an error as you can see so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day